Okay, so we already talked about the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer, which was amazing. We broke down some of the stuff we saw there. Definitely go check out that video if you haven't already. Check out all our other stuff. Make sure you follow us on Twitter because we're breaking down a lot of stuff there as well as Instagram and TikTok. I'll provide it on the screen right now. But let's talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, which gave us a lot of stuff. We found out that we're actually going to have King the Conqueror, which was already something that was sort of teased and we also learned about modok in here but before we get any further go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell we're trying to reach 25,000 subscribers before the end of the month can we get there i think we can but let's talk about this trailer that we just got here so pretty much we learned that king the conqueror was going to be our main villain here we were going to see modok and bill murray is in this movie as well i mean marvel just hit us with so many good stuff today and it's crazy that dc definitely did the panel they did when marvel did this panel as well like honestly i wasn't even expecting much from marvel just by what dc had given us but nonetheless i'm so excited for both so pretty much uh we have a description of this trailer because we didn't get to see this footage be shown and this is probably going to be till d23 till we see any of this so according to this and i'll leave the article below if you want to read it as well it pretty much starts off with scott lang doing a book reading of his new memoir look out for the little guy little guy indeed then we see his daughter cassie interrupt him and pretty much tells him hey i'm in jail and she's pretty much giving this phone call and he's just like what so then we pretty much see the quantum realm and we see a little bit of bill murray the face of modok and also a first look at jonathan mayer's king the conqueror and this is amazing honestly to hear because we haven't seen or heard of king the conqueror since loki season one by the way loki season two next year in the summer super pumped for that as well and we know Kang the Conqueror is going to be a big threat for the Avengers, and we also learned about Kang Dynasty, which is going to be the Avengers film that comes out in 2025. That just sounds incredible, and I'm excited for it. But let's talk about what more is there here to see, right? So pretty much we had an official plot synopsis for Quantumania that says superhero partner Scott Lang, played by Paul Rudd, and Hope Van Dyne, played by Evangeline Lilly, Evangeline, Evangeline, Ev why can I not pronounce this thing right? Evangeline Lily return to continue their adventures as Ant Man and the Wasp. So we see that together with Hope's parents, Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne, the family find themselves exploring the quantum realm, interacting with strange new creatures, and embarking on an adventure that will push them beyond the limits of what they thought to be possible. So the third Ant-Man movie will actually be released February 17, 2023, and that is honestly super close, isn't it, right? So we know, of course, Jonathan Mayers is playing King the Conqueror here, and what we pretty much get from this is that this is definitely going to be the first time that King the Conqueror really gets into the action, right? Because for the most part, what we know from King the Conqueror is he was just in Loki, but it really wasn't the King the Conqueror that we should be scared of, right? He tells us that there is definitely a lot here that is going to happen now that pretty much all of his variants are out there just like crazy. I'm excited also that we got a very first look at Modok as well. They are saying that he is golden and robotic looking, pretty much comic accurate and also shooting lasers. So Modok is a character that I thought we would see a little bit sooner in the MCU, but I'm still excited about this. So they also said that King the Conqueror appears in the classic green and purple armor, but he is not blue. So that's interesting right there. I think we definitely knew we were getting a pretty accurate costume um, just from seeing how like he looked in the variant of Loki when we saw Loki look at the um, new statue that was there. So I thought that that was interesting, definitely that they have this sort of um, look to him that still is pretty much a classic look at the end of the day, right? And King the Conqueror, I think, is going to prove to be a very interesting um, character as we move forward because he definitely has to do something here in Quantum Mania that's going to make, like, everybody realize that he is not someone to play with. And that's definitely something interesting to take note of because Kang the Conqueror will definitely be 
that character that is going to drive everybody to the brink. But is he going to be the multiverse like big villain that's still up for debate in my opinion because I feel like we're definitely going to see a ton of other stuff that's going to lead us to wonder, yeah, there's some bigger stuff coming here, right? Apparently also King the Conqueror tells um, in the whole like stint that they have together, um, Scott Lang tells King the Conqueror, I am an Avenger, to what Kang responds, I am a Conqueror. So Jonathan Mayers is just going to be playing a Banff on so many levels in this, and I'm excited to definitely see what he is going to bring to the MCU. I thought that what he did in um, Loki was great, and I'm excited to see how he definitely evolves his character even more. So Emin in The Lost Quantum Mania, my thoughts, my opinions on this footage is that it just sounds incredible, I think. I think that the idea of bringing characters such as MODOK, bringing characters such as Kang into this, is just incredible to hear and I'm excited for it. I think definitely this is going to be the movie that kicks off this next phase for sure, really leading into what is going to be the multiverse um, saga because I think that this phase, phase four, really laid the groundwork for everything and we're still not there where we're kicked off yet, but I think after Multiverse of Madness and apparently um, everything we're gonna see happen in Wakanda forever in my opinion which I'll talk about as well in another video on uh, Monday stay tuned for that I think that these are definitely going to be like the bricks that laid everything and then Quantumania is going to come through and just take us straight into that multiverse world that we're going to be for the next two phases because phase six just sounds more insane as Fantastic Four is going to kick that off and then we have two Avengers films like with a window of only months between them that just my goodness so i'm excited for it i love the pace the mcu is going i know a lot of people are saying they're, they're giving us too much content but not in my opinion i don't know i think that they're doing us a really good um job of giving us the content that we need to take into account and i think some people just want to complain and complain but that's my opinion on it let me know what you think about ant-man and the wasp quantum mania what are you most excited for like i said kang the conqueror i've just been waiting for this character ever since we heard about thanos i knew that we had to think about who was next and kang the conqueror is just the one that made the most sense when he was a appearing in Loki I think that was definitely a moment when everybody was just getting crazy about thinking what the future is going to be like and now that we are here we are definitely excited for that so I'm expecting a ton more announcements at D23 I'm expecting casting for Fantastic Four a trailer footage teaser for this movie as well and just a ton of other stuff like I'm excited for the future of marvel and the next phases secret wars is going to be insane and i'm all here for it so anyways as always let me know your thoughts and opinions make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already are you excited for quantum mania what do you think about kang the conqueror what do you think about modog what is your most anticipated mcu film that was announced today i mean of course secret wars is up there for me but i'm ready for this fantastic four for sure so anyways as always if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and notification bell on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We can get there together. We're about to close in on 23,000, which is insane. But I'll see you all next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.